Alright guys, so this is going to be my 300 sub video. I know uh, Plats was wanting me to play Don't Starve Together, but I'm so bad at survival games that I usually don't enjoy them too much. But today this kind of video is going to be about how to grow your channel. Because even though I'm still a small channel, I think I found out a pretty good rhythm to growing and I wanted to share it with people because I know there's a lot of people that are starting YouTube channel YouTube channels and they like struggle at the start which is the hardest part but we've made a lot of progress over the year now that I've like devoted actually trying to grow the channel because I've had this channel for five years I believe like right before I joined the military and then just this last year since I've been out I've been trying to grow and we've grown a lot and this was a huge milestone for me I just got it today we finally got to 4,000 watch hours we still gotta work on the subs but I appreciate everybody that watches the videos, keeps coming back to watch the videos. And even the new people that came, I really appreciate it. It feels really good when people are watching your stuff. So, my channel is a gaming channel, so I kind of picked an easy, like, subject to cover because everybody's done it before. Easy to cover, but probably a little bit harder to get started in because there's so many gaming channels. So you have to you have to pick a way to structure your gaming channel that you're going to be interesting to people. If you're like picking like a topic, the the first thing you got to do before you pick start your channel is pick the topic that you really want to do. And you need to pick something that like you're actually interested in, you have like a lot of fun doing or covering or whatever it is. I think because you have to or I had to spend a lot of time on it to get it to start growing. And the fact that I enjoy doing it makes it so much easier. I almost put out a video like every day. I know some channels say not to do that, but I feel like depending on what your subject matter is and what you're trying to do, it's fine. And it might actually help you because that's probably a good reason why I've grown so much is that like almost every day I start looking for like a new game, like an indie game or something like that. So the gaming channel kind of thing is a little bit saturated, but what I do is I look for new indie games that are just coming out that people may not have beaten yet or might be looking into beating and I try to beat the games and talk about what makes them good, what I enjoyed about them and it gives a little bit of a spotlight to like indie developers which is cool because then like once you start getting bigger they'll actually reach out to you themselves which is like <laughs> it's cool as crap because they'll be like hey play my game and I'm like alright yeah that makes my job easier I don't have to look for a game but let me show you something real quick. So I started making videos at the start of the year and so you see this this is when it was the hardest like I was getting no views a day these might be the views when I was watching my own videos pretty much to see like if they were good or not and like when you start out you're gonna be looking at your videos and they're gonna be so rough and you're probably gonna have to change your idea of like what your gaming channel is going to be because at the start I was just doing gaming reviews because my idea of the gaming channel was I want to find new video games to play and I, I there wasn't really a channel that I saw that I was like oh I can go here and see if a game's good or not before it came out like if a game just came out it's hard to tell if it's good or not which is kind of sketchy especially if you're buying it um, I don't do many games you buy because I have a job and it's not that good paying that you can buy like random games um and it's harder to do videos on games that are like longer which is something i'm trying to work on myself that's something and you can always approve and this right here this power spike was when i got when the darkness comes which is this game right here um let me move my webcam over here when the darkness comes which was right here and that game was actually the first one that got me big. So something like in my region anyways, it really depends on the content you're covering a lot. Like if I had a game that's interesting and I, some games will make you more entertaining than others. Like, because I'm interacting with the game and, and the subject matter that I chose. If I'm playing an interesting game, I have a lot more easier of a time being interesting. You don't have to be one of those people with like super flamboyant personality where you're like jumping everywhere, like freaking out. You can be yourself. Just be like true to yourself. And that's unique in its own way. And people like that, I think, or at least people tell me they like it. So that's important. 
Um, because I know if, you, if you're going out of your way to be something you're not, it probably will get old for you real quick. And I know that's easy to say, but you do still need to be talking and trying to be entertaining. Like, have fun trying to be entertaining. Don't go out of your way to like do something crazy, like screaming or anything like that, because that, oh, that's annoying as hell to me. I hate when people scream. If I get scared, I scream. So I, I'm kind of being a hypocrite here. But when people are just constantly screaming, it's annoying. Another thing is I started helping my video grow. Before this point, I wasn't asking people to like and subscribe to my channel because I was like, I'm not gonna beg people. If they like my videos, they'll like and subscribe. You need to at least ask once a video for people to like and subscribe because if you don't ask, they don't think you you want them to, I guess. I don't really know how that works, but I know this changed dramatically. Like I got no subs to like this point. Like I, this is about where I started asking people to like and subscribe and then it started growing. So, I, would, I don't do it at the start of the video. It would probably be better if I did because most people only watch like so much of your video unless they really like it. I always ask at the end because I'm like, if they like my content, then I'll ask them to like and subscribe. That's just me personally. It's probably better if you want to grow your channel to do it at the start, but that's not me. Um, maybe that'll change in the future, but I'd rather have people like my content before I ask them to like and subscribe. Um, I would also recommend just interact with your f people that comment on your videos because that's my favorite thing actually with like YouTube is when people like like and comment on your videos because I don't know that's the whole reason I kind of do it is to interact with people because I'm not making any money I've been doing this for like a year now and it'd be cool to make money someday but I don't make any money off it so like talking to other gamers and stuff like that and that also like boosts your morale when people are like saying good things and they're like, oh, I love your videos, blah, 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 blah. Or even the people, I most, <laughs> the people that are like, I hate your videos, you're stupid, blah, 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 blah. Those people boost you too because you're like, I'm finally making it, I have haters. <laughs> I haven't had many, but you get the occasional one. And when I got my first one, I was like, oh my God, I got one. <laughs> I got a hater. Um, but. And some people actually want to critique you and tell you how to do better. Like when I did my When the Darkness Comes video, somebody brought up my audio quality was really bad. It probably still is. But I did go out and buy a new mic and then my video started doing a little bit better on like a consistent basis. So it's always good to like listen to people if they're being constructive. If they're not, just ignore them and just be like, oh, he's, uh, I got a view from him anyways. <laughs> Even if he didn't like the content, I, like, I got a view. And another thing is when you're setting up your video, you don't have to follow the trends of everybody. Like I see a lot of gaming channels, everybody uses a webcam. If you watch most of my videos, especially my successful ones, I don't use a webcam um, because and I debated on horror games because I know people want to see reactions and stuff. But when I'm playing a game, you don't want to see my ugly face in the corner. You want to see the game. I'm not trying to block the screen or try to block anything that's in the game. And it's something I've experimented too because I'm like, oh, all the important gamers use webcams and I just started taking it out more and more. Um, I might implement it for some more scary games, but like, I know that my content, people are actually wanting to see the game. And videos that I usually have a lot of success in, in my channel specifically um, is like video games that just came out that people haven't beat yet that are a little bit hard. Like when I was trying to play, for instance, my uh, biggest video recently that's been popping off is Kyle is Famous. That game, when I was trying to play through it, I couldn't even find videos myself on how to get all the endings. So I had to sit there, plug away at that game until I got all the endings. Like I had to get a notebook, write out all the possibilities to beat the game. And that video has been doing great because I'm assuming some people want to know how to beat, the, how to get all the endings. And it was a really good game. It was super entertaining. Um, I'm not saying you have to put out a video daily, but that's something I do because I want to get to as many indie creators games as possible. And you never know when you're going to get that video game that people really want to know more about. Like this one, the unknown text of Don Dust Dream Sewer that got like 100 views. I thought that wasn't going to get many views at all. And you have to take small victories. Don't expect all your videos to be breakout videos. I mean, I'm sure you can, like the bigger YouTubes, they have a system where all their videos are big. But that's not, 
I don't know. I probably don't have the personality for that where I can just like lure in millions of people all the time. <laughs> and I haven't been working at it near as long as some people have, but this is that's pretty much my algorithm to like growing a gaming channel nowadays. Because I know there's a lot of people that do how to grow your gaming channel is the same tips over and over again. And I'm like, well, this doesn't help me. Like some of them are like good general guidelines, but it's like, I already know that. And also try to be the best at something. I'm not the, like in my, for me, it's like, I get to games faster than a lot of people. That's something that gives me an edge. But if you can edit really well, I can't edit. I can I do not edit, barely any. I'll take out like death scenes and like when I've wasted a lot of time in a game, but I am so bad at editing. Oh, and like my personality is probably not the best. Like I try to stay pretty like, talkative and entertaining but i'm not like one of those people that's gonna be over the top screaming i don't have like an amazing voice that's gonna like lure people in like people like markiplier have like a really good smooth voice i don't have that i have like redneck <laughs> country voice um somebody said i sounded like hank hill which was actually really nice i was like oh that's a, that's a, actually a pretty good compliment i like that uh, i don't know where I don't think I do, but that's cool if I do. I like Hank Hill. Um, but yeah, this is just kind of my tips and tricks on how to grow the channel from like the start. Cause this is something I've been doing for a while. And I know it doesn't seem like much, but like that watch time, 4.2, 4, 4,000 hours is a long time, man. It is a long time. And watch that grow and don't, Something I'm going to recommend, there's going to be like, when you're growing your channel, you're going to have websites reach out to you. Oh, buy subs, buy viewers, don't do that. God, then what's the point? Like, if you're not entertaining real people, what's what's actually the point? And you're, it's not going to be sustainable, and you're really like paying someone for something that you should be working towards. towards. And the milestones aren't going to feel like anything to you because you didn't earn it. Every little milestone on this channel feels freaking amazing. Because it was a lot of hard work and like all the people i met that were really nice to me they helped me get there which is like the best part but yeah this is gonna be my uh 300 sub video i'll have to take i'll have to get back with you flats about playing <laughs> don't start together I, i'm so bad at survival games though uh they like building games like that i'm so bad I was playing, I was trying to play uh, Battle Brothers to do like a longer video because that's something I'm trying to improve on, like longer games. And you have to realize your limitations too because on longer videos, it's not going to be entertaining if you don't have editing to the good parts of it. But I played it a little bit yesterday because somebody recommended it to me. And I made a clan, like a Brothers Clan called Dragging These Nuts and like D R A G O N. <laughs> we got annihilated. But yeah guys, if you like videos like these, please like and subscribe. I probably won't do another video where I'm like trying to help people get better at YouTube because I'm not that good at YouTube either, but this is just like a 300 sub special video. So thank you for watching. And uh, if you like videos like these, please like and subscribe. Bye.